Previously, we did a series about frustration as as a direct link to unforgiveness. However, today we're going to do three pointers of how do you deal with the frustration before it becomes to a state of no return, I mean a state of rage, uh, unforgiveness, anger, being an eternal assassin. Sit back and enjoy the video. The first tip is breathe. I know you've been hearing this all your life. Breathe, just breathe, calm down, relax, calm yourself. But this is the reason for for that statement. This is the reason for that tip that you got in gym class. You got when you're acting up in church. You got it when you got frustrated and you about to embark on a fight or altercation. Because what it does, the the suggestion is to relax and focus relaxing focus breathing because what it does it changes the chemistry of the brain so activity so the activity is dominated by the thoughtful neocortex instead of a rather rambunctious rambunctious amygdala which is uh responsible for the fight flight or freeze because the amygdala is always ready to set it off once it receives signals from the external it takes a simple disagreement as an act of war but these, this is the way that you need to go about breathing when you're embarking on that type of situation, whatever it is. First, inhale for four seconds. Inhale four seconds, hold the breath for four seconds. Then you exhale for six to eight seconds. You repeat this cycle until you have calmed down. So you can have rational action behind the thoughts. Because when your amygdala is hijacked, nothing you do is rational and you end up being impulsive, making impulsive behavior, actions, as well as, as well as rash statements that you soon end up, man, I wish I didn't do that. Ooh, shoot, I wish I did say that. So breathing is very important. You just repeat the process over and over again until you come down. Sometimes it's good to say, I need to just walk away and and breathe on a walk and then come back and address the situation. Because at that time, the cortex has received the information and has processed things to give you a rational response instead of irrational reaction. Point two, change your perspective. What I mean by change your perspective is that you have to view frustration as a delayed success. And when you view frustration as a delayed success, what you do, you are framing it as a success or if the situation is a daunting one you are reframing it and when you're reframing a situation you re reframing the situation that it would change and when you reframe it what you do you change your reaction as well as your emotion because if you see a situation as a situation that will eventually change then you realize that the frustration will be defeated because it's not long lasting. It's only a temporary setback for, for eventual success. So change your perspective. Lastly, tell a friend. There's no need to keep things bottled up because when you keep things, you keep feelings or situations that you've encountered bottled up what you're doing you're harnessing repressed emotions and that doesn't do anything for you that's beneficial because we all know energy doesn't go away, go anywhere so you keep it in on the springboard on another situation or another person and on that later date it's not doing you any internal good it is actually building um, a resonance for the internal assassin and you don't want that to happen you want something to take you out from the inside and out so Tell a friend. And if you don't have a friend, tell a pastor. If you don't have a pastor, find a therapist or a counselor. But you need to get it out so you don't keep anything repressed. So those are my three points. I start with breathing, change perspective, and tell a friend. Now, if you hey, journeymen and journeywomen, the video is up. And we're finished for this part of this journey. And don't forget to look up above 
You see the videos that, that were mentioned earlier. And also I have a playlist that you can look and see if there's any else that can help you on this journey we call life. And also remember this if you don't remember anything else. If there's everything you get vertical, make it your goal in life to move forward and never move back. Because your life's important. I think so. God thinks so. So it is important. So be encouraged and peace and blessings. And if there be anything else that you need and that I can assist you with, go down to my comment section and connect with me outside of the video. If you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time, things I can assist you with and to actually help you get beyond your first move, go ahead, check me out, give me a call, talk to me. But remember this, peace and blessings. And this is Hero's Journey. Dr. D out!